In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Exact IDIP Pool Professional Test Kit. I'm going to run you through the various test factors that come with the kit for the Exact IDIP photometer, as well as for the pH Plus meter. I'm also going to show you how to use the app to save your test results and also to email them to your customer. The Exact IDIP is a photometer that uses these unique test strips. These test strips have the reagents on there. So when you move the test strip back and forth inside the chamber of the photometer, the reagent is released and the IDIP will get an accurate reading of all the pool test factors. And you would do all the testing through the exact IDIP app, which is compatible with your Android device or your Apple device. I'm going to go ahead and get a water sample from the pool. I'm going to go about a foot down to get a good water sample. And the exact IDIP app is very simple and easy to use. You can do all the testing from the app, log all the results. You can also enter customers and store the results there. You can purchase more of the test factors in the store. And you can see the exact IDIP has a ton of different test factors that you can use. You just have to purchase the individual test strip separately to run these test factors. So the first thing I'm going to do here is purchase the calcium bundle so I can get the calcium hardness readings. I'm also going to purchase a cyanuric acid reading and that'll complete all the pool test factors that you're going to need for the pool. And this is a one-time fee. Once you purchase a test factor in the app, you can use it as long as you want. So it's a one-time purchase for the test factor. Next, you want to create a customer. You want to create a customer so that you can save the results to the account. Since I'm just doing this as a test here for you, I'm going to create a fake account. I'm going to just name it Mr. Salty since I'm testing a saltwater pool here. You can, of course, enter the address and the name and the phone number and all the information for the particular customer at the account. But I'm just doing this so that I can save the results for this test. And the really nice thing about the app is that you can pull up the instructions for each test right inside the app. It'll give you detailed instructions on how to do each test with the exact IDIP. In case you need this guide, every single test has an instruction you can pull up next to it. Some of the tests also have a video link for YouTube. If you click on this, it'll take you to a YouTube video that will show you how to do the test. So I really like the app. I think the app is very user friendly and there's a lot to the app. I really like the fact you can do the testing right from the app itself. I'm going to run through a series of tests for you with the exact IDIP and with the exact pH plus. I'm going to do the free chlorine, combined chlorine, I'll do the cyanuric acid, calcium hardness, and the alkalinity test. And I'll do all the testing that the exact pH plus does on the pH meter. One of the first things you want to do when you get your exact IDIP is use this calibration key to get a reference point. The exact IDIP comes factory calibrated. All this calibration key will do is give you a reference point. If you notice that the reading with the calibration key is off by 0.15 units from the original value, there may be something wrong with the exact IDIP. In that case, you can take it for warranty. It comes with a two-year warranty. So I'm going to show you how to use the calibration key to get your reference point. So go ahead and turn on your exact IDIP, then go ahead and click on test. Click on Bluetooth. You'll see that the IDIP is connected here. So now you want to hit select test. I'm going to go ahead and hit calibration key. Go ahead and hit the zero on the IDIP. Insert the calibration key. Click on read. And the calibration key is coming in at 1.84 parts per million. So I'm going to go ahead and write this number down. If you use the calibration key again and the number is off by 0.15, you know there may be something wrong with the unit. Okay, now I'm going to run through a series of test factors with the exact eye dip. I'm going to fill the chamber up with the sample. Okay, the first test I'm going to run is the alkalinity test. And if you want to record a test results, you want to click on the customer. I created Mr. Salty, so I'm going to go ahead and click on him. So all the testing that I do here will be recorded under his name. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put the cap on. Hit zero. Okay, now we're going to hit read. And you're going to take the test strip and dip it in the chamber and move it back about two times every second. This is how the reagent is released inside the chamber and the photometer will read the color and give you the reading of the test factor that you're testing. When it gets down to 1, I'm going to take the strip out and put the cap on. Okay, 
So the alkalinity is coming in at 122 parts per million. Okay, I'm going to rinse out the chamber. You also want to use the included brush to clean out the chamber in between testing. Okay, the next test I'm going to do is calcium hardness. Let me go ahead and select the test. Let me go ahead and cover up the chamber. It hit zero. If I have the test strip, hit read. We're going to do the same thing, moving it back and forth a couple times every second. Okay, the calcium hardness is coming in at 320 parts per million. Let me go ahead and rinse out the chamber, then I'll do the chlorine test. So I'm going to go ahead and do the free chlorine and the combined chlorine test here. Okay, I have the free chlorine test strip. Let me go ahead and select the test. Okay, let me go ahead and select the free chlorine test. I'll put the cap on here and zero it out. I'll hit read. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do the combined chlorine test. Let me hit zero here. This test is slightly different. I'm using the same water sample for the combined chlorine that I used for the free chlorine. Let me hit read. Okay, and the combined chlorine. And the combined chlorine is coming in at 0.02. So here are the results in the app of the free chlorine, the combined chlorine, and the total chlorine. And I also want to mention that the exact IDIP is EPA compliant as a testing method for free and total chlorine. And next I'm going to do the cyanuric acid test. This is a reagent, so the testing is a little bit different. I'll show you this right now. We're going to select the test. I'll click on cyanuric acid. Okay, let me go ahead and zero out the sample. Okay, now I'm going to add five drops of the reagent into the chamber. I'm going to go ahead and cover it. I'm going to hit read. Now you're going to take the eye dip and turn it side to side like this for 20 seconds. This will stir up the reagent. Okay, now it takes about 60 seconds for it to count down to get the cyanuric acid reading. And the cyanuric acid level is coming in at 34 parts per million here. And now I'm going to run you through the series of test factors with the exact pH plus with the same water sample. And it's important to store the pH plus with the cap full of the pH 4 buffer solution that came with the kit. And now I'm going to turn the power on to the pH plus. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the eye dip by clicking on it. And I'm going to connect to the pH plus. Okay, now I'm going to get the water sample and get the readings from this pool. Okay, I have the water sample from the pool here. You're going to stick the pH plus directly into the water sample like this. And once you see a happy face on the screen, this indicates that the reading is stable. So the pH here is 7.17, 7.18. Let me go ahead and save the results. Next would be the ORP, but since there's no ORP probe on this meter, I'm going to go ahead and skip this. And just note that the exact pH plus that comes in the Pro Kit has a pH probe on there. If you wanted to get the ORP reading, you would need a separate ORP probe purchased separately. Then you have your conductivity. It's coming in at 7.63. I'm going to go ahead and save the results. Then you have the total dissolved solids, or TDS. It's coming in at 5400. It's a little high here because this is a salt water pool. Salt is one of the elements in TDS, so it's going to show high. Normally it would be about 1,200. And next we're going to have the salinity. It's coming in at 3.8 or 3,800 parts per million. We're going to save those results. And you can see all the results under the customer here on the screen here. The app also calculates the LSI for you. The LSI here is coming in at 1.02. So you can see how easy it is to do the water testing with the exact IDIP and with the pH plus. So here are the results in the app from the testing. You can see that the calibration key, I did it twice here, and it came out to the same reading, so we know that this tester is accurate. I also like that the app calculates the LSI for you, so you can see if the pool is scale-forming or corrosive. The LSI is coming in here a little over 1. You can also save the results in the app, and you can also email the results directly to yourself or to your customer. The exact eye dip can test for over 40 different factors, including phosphates, nitrates, copper, 
ozone, and many more test factors for the pools by industry. You would just need to order the test strips or reagents and also order the test in the app. So you can see how easy it is to use the exact iDip in the pH plus to test your pool and spa water. Inyopools.com has been helping pool owners find the right pool parts in 2001. With over 50,000 pool parts in stock, order online today and have the parts delivered right to your door. Jobber is your business's command center. The easy to use app powers your sales, operations, and customer service all in one place. Check the description below to save 20% off your first six months.